Hey guys, my name is Brian. I want to thank you all for just tuning in right now for this Bible study. I want to go ahead and just jump right on in. So if you would, go ahead and pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for the Word of God. We thank you for what you're going to show us and reveal to us today, Lord God. I pray for the viewer. I pray for the listener, God. I pray for those that will watch this uh, in a future date. Lord, bless them, God. Bless them in their hunger search. Bless them, Lord Jesus, in the scriptures. Let a spirit of revelation and understanding come upon us, Lord. We thank you, Lord God. Speak to us in Jesus' mighty name. And so I got this uh, Bible study chart here to help me stay on track. I don't want to really chase uh, uh, bunnies down a rabbit trail. But we're talking today about John the Baptist. And John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus Christ. So before Jesus came onto the scene, there was a messenger that was sent um, from God and he would prepare the way for the Messiah. He would prepare the way for the anointed one. And so we see some prophecies that were concerning John. And in Isaiah chapter 40, uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse three, it says this, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Oh, hallelujah. And that's in Isaiah 40 and verse number three. And if you look here, the ministry of John the Baptist, it was not in the temple. It was not in the synagogue it was away from the religious formality the religious structure he was a voice that was crying in the wilderness hallelujah now look at another prophecy in malachi chapter 3 malachi chapter 3 verse 1 and it says this behold i will send my messenger and he shall prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant whom you delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. And that's in Malachi 3 and 1. Now John is the one that introduced Christ to the world. But before we go to there, I want to let you know what was John's message. What did John preach? And in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 2, you see what he preached. He says, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So John was preaching repentance. John was preaching repentance that men and women should turn, turn back to God, turn away uh, from the things that they are doing that are displeasing to God. Turn, my friends. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11, it says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And so you see here that John, who is a prophet, he was uh, letting people know, letting people know that he was not the one. He said that after me is one that's coming that is mightier than I. Hallelujah. John let people know that I've got a baptism. My Mine is that baptism of water unto repentance. Hallelujah. And repentance means that your life is being changed from this baptism. Your life is being changed. Hallelujah. From this baptism. It's a baptism unto repentance. Hallelujah, where you are going to think differently, you're going to act differently, you're going to live differently. 
Hallelujah. But he, he said that the one there is one that is coming that is mightier than I. Hallelujah. He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Praise the Lord. In Mark chapter 1 and in verse number 8, it says this. He says this. I indeed baptize you with water. But he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. I indeed baptize you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Then in Luke chapter number 3, and in verse uh, 2 through 17, we see more of the details of uh, John the Baptist. So let me read there. For us, And it says this, Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, the word of God came unto John, the son of Zacharias, in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Hallelujah. So John's baptism was not symbolic. John's water baptism was for repentance, for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Esaias, the prophet saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill shall be brought low and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough ways shall be made smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him. O generation of vipers who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance. And begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and saith unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not, John answered, saying unto all, unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire oh hallelujah and so this is the forerunner of jesus christ this is the man of god the prophet of god he was set apart he was the messenger to prepare the way for jesus christ hallelujah and the way to christ is turn away from the world turn away from your selfish ambitions and desires and turn back to God. Turn back to God. And we need more of these 
modern day John the Baptists that will go out there, that will go out there and preach the kingdom of God, that will go out there and tell men and tell women everywhere to turn back to God, change the course and the direction of their life, to prepare themselves for the return of Jesus Christ. It's time, my friend, to get our hearts right with God. And this man of God led them to a baptism of repentance. Repentance for the remission of sins. Hallelujah. His baptism was a baptism of water. A baptism of water. Hallelujah. Where your life can be changed. Praise Jesus. So this was John. Hallelujah. God bless you. I hope that this was a help to you and an encouragement. And we'll continue our Bible studies here in the next video. God bless. In Jesus' name.